Mossy wants them to practice abstinence. And I don't, I want them to get their job done. So it started. I was supposed to do it this morning, but I figured it'd probably be a little bit more difficult than what I thought, and I was right. So I'm glad I waited, but now you guys can see, Blue's already doing his job. He's already starting to, what he's doing right now is he's just basically going up and saying, how'd he do? Can I smell your butt? <laughs> she doesn't seem to be minding that too much. Ooh. Hello, Mossy, what you think of him? What do you think, Mossy? Oh, he's applying perfume for you. Applying perfume for you. Talk to her. Talk to her. Tell her what you think. Tell her how what you like, like walks on the beach or... Honestly, I should probably take these off while I can because you guys are gonna be in here and I don't want you getting hung up while you're trying to run from him. Let's take these off too, honey. Here you go. Pearl, you want your necklace off? Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. No, hold on. Hold on. There, now you guys are safe to run and do your own thing. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Are you happy? Are you happy? Willa, what do you think? What do you think, honey? I know. I know, but you'll like him. You He's got some really good sweet nothings. I've heard his stuff. How are you girls feeling? <laughs> Somebody's in heat. We just had our first successful breeding. <laughs> Mossy, if you won't go into heat, quit beating on her. So Mark called me earlier today and said Poseidon was all over Blackberry. So while I'm kind of, she's not due to come in here for another two weeks, but she's cycling now. So I kind of want to give him a taste of what his job is because he's, he's a new buck, guys. This is his first breeding season. So maybe if I can get him a uh, understanding the pleasures of, um, come on, Mossy, quit. So now all these girls want to gang up on her because she's new in here, but, oh, Lord. We have our first successful reading. She was supposed to be in here two weeks, but, but I'm hoping maybe the scent of her being in heat, because sometimes it will, it'll help synchronize your herd because she's in heat and they're breeding. Maybe these girls will catch on to the um, idea. That tail wagon just cracks me up every time. I'm sure Poseidon is so angry right now. So at least Poseidon's earning his keep here as a teaser buck. That's probably not really fun for him, but um, it sure helps me out a whole lot. Oh boy, I think he's gonna... Brown chicken, brown cow, Mark. Brown chicken, brown cow. Are you giving him Sally? <laughs> Got old lettuce. <laughs> he's feeding the girls. You love it? Ooh. Pearl? These girls just want to eat and then this girl over here um, is working up her appetite, I guess. But hey, we got baby goats coming. We can put her on the calendar. So I'll put her like in April 5th. Wait, it's Thursday. I put them in Tuesday. April 6th. <laughs> so yeah, April 6th is her official due date. I'm sorry, now. buddy. And I took your love away from you. I'm sorry. Oh. So I think someone's stuck. We just got home from deer hunting. And of course, we want to rest. And the goats say, Never get rested. Nah, baby, nah. So we're gonna. She is stuck between the two fences. Uh, I mean, like, seriously, you can't make this up. Okay, Mossy, geez. What do you got going on here? The saying grass is greener on the other side is always true for goats. How are you even between these two? She's Look, tied she's tied in there. Willow. <sighs> Little girl. <laughs> 
hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Easy baby, easy. Really? Pearl, you were supposed to be supervising. And you, did you drive her in there with your love attempts? Did you drive her in there with your attempts for love? Don't rub on me, you got pee on your head. So since we're already out here, what are the updates on the breeding front? There are none. There are no updates. See, she's past the honeymoon phase. She wants nothing to do with him. Do you know I'm talking about you? Do you know I'm talking about you, stinky boy? Stinky boy. Yeah, nobody else has been bred. <laughs> do you mind? Ow! Right. So, yeah, nobody else has been bred. We're still patiently waiting. I think that spotted she-devil, Moxie, who is the head honcho in here, is kind of stopping things. I have seen her multiple times just kind of push him away from other does, even if the doe's kind of standing and letting him sniff. So I might have to pull Mossy out until she is in a standing heat to come in and be bred and bring in my more submissive does for him because I just don't think Mossy's going to let him. Dude, I think she's trying to, uh, to run the show over here. Girls, could you not try to get stuck between two fences? Willow, I mean, really. I Yeah, I'm talking to you. She, she like recognized I was talking to her. Yeah, you. Why? Why you be this way? Tell me, why did you do that? Oh, goodness, she really wants to get close up. And why are you trying to rule everybody? See, she didn't like that. Tell her. Whoopsie. What's going on, dude? What's going on? Sky's in heat, isn't she? Sky, you in heat? Are you in heat? Yeah, sky's in heat. Wasn't really expecting that. I know, honey. You got all these feelings and you don't know what to do with them because you're so young. June, quit. Okay, it's got everybody all riled up out here. So, yeah. But, none of these girls in here are cycling yet. And you can tell she's a screamer. So, I know Blackberry right here is bred even though he's trying to give her some extra attention but i'm waiting on um willow mossy and pearl who just is back there and doesn't want anything to do with him so i'm gonna go ahead and remove blackberry hi there sky hi sky yeah i think you're ready this year aren't you you're ready this year so i think i'm gonna go ahead and take blackberry out try to keep sky out um Put Sky back in, and I actually have an, a couple other girls that I'm thinking are getting close because they're trying to stay around Poseidon. So, yeah, this isn't to my plan, but I'm trying to do them in groups for periods of time. None of the young girls are going in yet, but I've got Pinky and Tiana that look like they might be getting ready to uh, cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get them in here and just see if the magic starts to happen. <laughs> Pinky's already been bred once. See, she's uh, interested in his advances. So Pinky is Sky's mom. So apparently they're both cycling at the same time. I have Tiana, who is in heat too. So I'm going to go get her and... Uh, Hope to get something going here with my my crew and I might just switch out Mossy because she's being a butthead and she's wanting to really break up some of this action going on in here. Oh yeah, can't have that. Mossy wants them to practice abstinence and I don't. I want them to get their job done. Now you want to be the beat our upper, huh? 
What have we got going on back here? Brown cow. Oh boy. Okay, I feel better getting my breeding season rolling. So she's already been bred once, and Pinky, the gold one, has been bred once. I'm really hoping. Jim, hush, 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 hush. Easy, calm, calm. You're okay. She gets excited because this rooster likes to uh, fight with her. Yeah, gets her all, all colors wound up. Guys, look, a winter coat and a hat. It's that time of year now. <laughs> but um, I feel a lot better because now I've had three does. I want them to go in groups as threes and fours. So it looks like, even though I wanted it to be Mossy, Pearl, and Willow to be my first three, it actually looks like it's gonna be Blackberry, Tiana, and Pinky. And uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Rarely do things go the way that I plan for them to go, but I am hoping kind of that with um, Pinky and Tiana both being in season right now that um, Willow and Pearl will get the idea and figure it out. Where'd Pinky go? Oh, hi, Pinky. Pinky's over there. So I'm hoping that he will woo them and we'll get our um, breeding season off to a, a really good start. So it's been about a week since I put these girls in. So I have Black Bear on the calendar now for April 6th and now I think I need to have these two on the calendar for April 11th. So, yeah. He's, he's happy. <laughs> he's pretty happy, but I mean, like he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, so I can see why he's happy. Can I come over and pause? Come over. I really think Pearl's really close, too, because she's not running as much. She's starting to flag her tail a little bit, so I'm hoping, like, as he gets done breeding um, these two girls that are just all over him back here, that these other two will come into season and I can kind of synchronize. So, because I really don't think Willow and Pearl are that far off. But Mossy was just being a pain in the butt and stopping things. So I, I put her over there. Poseidon will tell me when they're in heat. Because I came home and Poseidon had both of them on each of his, on both sides of him. And they wanted to stay there and I noticed they were um, wagging their tails a little bit. So. I figure they're probably receptive, and sure enough, they're receptive. And you've got poor Sky on the other side that's in heat too, but it's not her turn. She really should be waiting about a month and a half for her turn, so. Oh, Gallon just got made it again, so. If you're ever unsure as to whether your doe is in heat, and you're not quite sure that the time is right to uh, put them with their um, Romeo, they usually flag their tails a lot, some of them will scream. Um, I have at least three or four screamers where they will just nonstop, just mad and mad and mad and mad. It's just, it gets really annoying, but usually that's a, a sign. And their rear ends get a little bit puffy. You might see them or other does trying to mount each other because their hormones are, are spiking and they're smelling the pheromones coming off of the doe that's in heat. So usually the doe that's getting mounted is in heat, but every now and then I have seen does that are in heat mount other does because there's just a lot going on in their system so yeah and mine will also come down here there's an adjoining fence right here not adjoining but like it parallels the buck fence and they'll come down here and they'll stare if you don't have a buck um on your property if you have a friend that's got a really musty smelling buck sometimes if you just wipe their face or their um, legs or wherever they've recently peed all over that buck and take that rag to your girls if they are like obsessed with it and are smelling it and are really really into into it then they're probably in heat i'm sorry you guys can hear all the love that's going on around me he's in hog heaven he's got two girls that are uh willing so he can just pick who he wants to uh to pursue <laughs> but yay now that means we've got 2021 20, babies on the way for sure now because <sighs> seeing the evidence so i can go write this down and out of all honesty, with these two that are being bred right now, um, what I'm doing is basically hand breeding them. I'm pulling them in and putting them in with a buck for like a day while they're receiving his advances. And then I'm putting them back in with the other girls because 
if they didn't cycle or they didn't catch during the cycle they'll go into heat again like 21 to 25 days seems like it's the usual for my girls and they'll either get really really close to poseidon over here who's behind this um gate over here and it's really uh jealous um they'll either be all over him or he'll be all over um them so <laughs> hi cute cutie <sighs> I'm just relieved. I'm relieved to have breeding season underway. It was, it was coming off to a slow start and that always worries me. What are you guys doing? Ow! It's my fingers, guys! It's my fingers!